Christian Business Connection, connecting your business or ministry to the world. Good morning and welcome to the CBC radio show, The Christian Business Connection. I'm your host evangelist Nona Thomas saying that this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I am doing backflips in the spirit, guys. I'm telling you, can't do them in the natural quite yet, but I am backflipping all around the studio. Let me tell you, I'm excited about what God is doing in the lives of of his people. Oh, I speak great blessings and abundance upon you today in the name of Jesus. Well, I tell you, we've got an abundant program today. We do. It's overflowing. It's blessed. We have some great guests on the program of the CBC radio show. As usual, as usual, God always does a fantastic job. I'm going to tell you, if you would like to be a guest on the Christian Business Connection radio show, talking about your business, your ministry, your organization, or your upcoming event, this is the place to be. Give me a call at 314-270-2225. That's 314-270-2225. I tell you, when we talk with you, when we go just back and forth like two old friends, you know, discussing the passion that you have within you. Oh, it's got to be a passion. Uh If you're an entrepreneur, oh, it's got to be a passion. Let me tell you, it's something that you would do even if you weren't getting paid. That's how much you love to do it. And if you're in ministry, well, this is the assignment, okay? Simply, you're assigned to do what you're doing if the Lord gave it to you, all right? I had to put that in there. If you're walking in the destiny and the path, of the Lord. You have an assignment and it must be fulfilled. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good stuff this morning, y'all. You got to feel your assignment. Well, let me get to my guests. Wonderful that they are. You see, this month, our CBC June Author of the Month is Mrs. Delitra Hudson, who is the author of Money Doesn't Grow on Trees. She's going to be my first guest this morning. I'm excited to talk about her book. She's got a book signing coming up and a summer camp. And it's just so much the Lord is doing in her life so that she can be a blessing to you. Our second guest this morning is going to be Miss Veronica Williams of Granny V's Bath and Body. Oh my, this is a new line of products that is hitting the St. Louis area by storm. You got to talk to her. Hey, I've got a testimony in there too, because I absolutely love the products. And she's going to be with us this morning talking about Granny V's. We also have on the program, oh my goodness, none other than a dear friend of the Christian Business Connection, Pastor Keith Scarborough, who is the senior pastor of The Word at Shaw. He's going to be talking with us this morning as well. Such a great work that he and the entire church, the congregation, his praise and worship leader, Pastor Vance Watt, they're doing a great work over in South St. Louis. So we're going to talk with him this morning as well. And then we're going to have on the show, Mr. Highland Stewart. Love when he comes on the program. He has got a great, great, great service and products that he's going to talk about. Can't wait to hear what Mr. Highland Stewart is going to be saying this morning. And then we have Mrs. April Fuller Kelly. Oh, she's been on the program several times and she's going to be talking about something that's going to be of great interest to you. The Lord has been blessing her in the Illinois and Missouri area and so she's going to talk about that this morning, too. So I've got you with me. Yes, if you're listening to this program, I've got you with me. And I'm excited that you are a part of the program. Oh, and you got to stay tuned as well, because our healthy living tip from none other than Dr. Katrina thompson Bowdry. you know her. She is our pocket doctor. She's known as Dr. Tebow. So we've got a lot. We've got a lot for you to listen to on the Christian Business Connection CBC radio show. Stay with me, please, please, please. Don't go anywhere. You're going to miss it. And you don't want to miss a second. I'll be right back. 
Hi, this is Evangelist Nona Thomas inviting you to tune in to Hallelujah 1600 at 4 p.m. every Wednesday for the midweek message. Friends, let me tell you, this program will encourage you. It will inspire you. It will be the boost that will be right on time in the Word of God for your Wednesday afternoon. So tune in every Wednesday, 4 p.m. right here on Hallelujah 1600 for the midweek message with Evangelist Nona Thomas. To God be the glory. Hey, St. Louis, it's Pastor Keith Scarborough from The Word at Shaw, located on the corner of Tower Grove and Shaw, right across the street from the Botanical Garden, wanting to invite you to our multicultural service. Starts at 11 a.m. on Sunday morning, but come early. Coffee House opens at 1030. Come get a cup of coffee, check your email, and get ready for service at 11 a.m. For more information, just visit our website, thewordatshaw.org, and we'll see you there. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, you know, of course, that this month of June, our Christian Business Connection Author of the Month is none other than Mrs. Delitra Hudson. And we're talking about her fantastic children's book, Money Doesn't Grow on Trees. So I want to welcome back to the CBC Radio Show, Mrs. Delitra Hudson. Good morning. Good morning, and thank you for having me. You're welcome. You're welcome. You know the drill is this the day that the Lord has made for you? It is, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. That's right. That's right. Well, I tell you, there's some folks who woke up this morning who may have been thinking, well, just let me reach up because money grows on trees, but it doesn't grow on trees, does it? It doesn't, but it grows in our minds and we can create it. And and the process is to earn, keep and grow our money. Yes. So we must learn how to do that. Yes. And you know, what a fantastic way to do that, of course, is starting off when, when we're young as children. And your children's book, Money Doesn't Grow on Trees, is just a blessing and just sweeping across St. Louis. And tell us about this phenomenal book, would you? Well, the book was inspired by my own personal life um, and my life with my two daughters. My my daughters um, seem to think that what they want, they can get. But during the lesson of the book, I'm teaching them that you have to work to earn so that you can get. And that is what life is about. And that's the foundation of how we succeed in life and be um, financially secure. And we all want to want that financial stability for our families. And learning to earn, keep, and grow our money with good money habits and money management skills, those are the messages that I want to get out to all youth regardless of their age, young or old, all children can get that message. Yes, yes. You know, you're known as the financial educator, and I'm sure you got that title with many, many years of experience in planting those seeds. Am I right about it? That's absolutely right. With over 20 years in the financial industry, I have seen and learned a lot. Um, And in my years of connecting with people is what brought me to this point. Um, it, my passion has been to always be able to help nurture and improve other people and being able to help people where they need help the most. And sometimes we just don't know what we don't know, and we go through life making the same mistakes, but they're really simple to correct, and that's what I do. I don't make it stressful as a financial educator. I try to teach the, these financial strategies in simple steps that even the young people can connect with and adapt to their everyday lives. Yes, yes. And, you know, just like the beautiful illustrations that you have on the cover of your book and also throughout the book, you know, I see a tree and your business has so many different limbs because you have a summer camp that is coming up very soon that uh, all of the education and all of the things that they're going to learn in this book, you're going to be teaching as well in the summer camp, right? That is absolutely right. In the St. Louis area, during the week of June 20th through June 24th, I am hosting a summer camp for youth. I have 30 spaces available, and the, the camp will teach our young people how to earn money, Um, learn more about money. We will have a savings challenge, which will fall into our keeping money category. And I will also start teaching them different ways to learn how to invest in what they like. It's important to invest in what you like, because the things that you buy 
someone else owns them. So why not get a piece of the pie by investing in those things? So I will teach our young people those strategies and and make it uh, applicable to their everyday lives so that they can start implementing what they learned in that summer camp. This camp is going to be a treasure for any young person who has the opportunity to be a part of it. And I encourage the parents to go visit my website at 2016moneycampswithans.subscribemenow.com to get more information about the camp. And if you have any problems, feel free to email me at Delitra, D-E-L-E-T-R-A, at DelitraHudson.com, and I will promptly get back with you with any questions or any additional information. But all of the information about the camp is on that website. For the entire week is $99, and it will include a T-shirt, um, a, copy, a signed copy of my book, Money Doesn't Grow on Trees, and they will get a breakfast and a lunch and a snack in the afternoon. The camp will run from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Monday through Friday, June 20th through 24th. This is, I am so excited about this experience and the opportunity to be able to pour into these young people. And after we complete the camp, I am going to open up an opportunity for us to stay connected. I am considering starting an investment club with young people that want to be a part of an investment club and are intrigued about the the idea of investing. So that will be something that we will further discuss in the camp to make sure that the interest is there in the city of St. Louis. Can adults get in on that investment club? Sure. Sure. <laughs> what what I will what I'm thinking about um is really starting one with the youth, and I can start one with the adults as well, because you know the conversation may be a little more complicated. Sure. When, when the adults start to talk, but I am definitely open to starting an an adult investment club as well, so that we all get this knowledge. Because uh, when I I find that when I talk to people. And you may think that having a wide range of ages combined together may not work well, but everyone's learning is on the same level. And this camp is open, and I don't think I said, but this camp is open for for ages 7 to 18, and I'm opening it up for that age group because... During that time, we learn at the same rate about finances. It's not like reading or math, but we can learn the same things at the same time, especially when we don't know. Wow, that that is so exciting. I, I also want to let my listeners know that you have an exclusive book signing that's coming up soon, too. Tell us about that. I do. On June 24th at 5 p.m. to 7 p.m., I will have an exclusive book signing held at the um, beautiful Catherine Dunham Museum at 1005 Pennsylvania Avenue in East St. Louis, Illinois. This is a beautiful location, and I am a board member of Catherine Dunham, and we work with the youth and the children, so it is so important that I pull that connection in where the young people are already there and learning their arts and the dance techniques of Miss Dunham to absolutely involve that that location and that organization in um, educating our youth and ha- offering a book signing there. Well, I tell you, uh, I just congratulate you on how the Lord has opened up so many doors and how this book, uh, Money Doesn't Grow on Trees, is a phenomenal learning and teaching experience for our young people. Uh, We're just about out of time. Is there anything else that you wanted to say to our audience this morning? I know that I've given a lot of information, but just to recap, I have the summer camp. Go ahead and start enrolling now. Spaces are limited, and that camp starts June 20th through 24th. And then on June 24th is the book signing at Catherine Dunham. And if there's any questions, always feel free to visit my website at www.delitrahudson.com. That's V-E-L-E-T-R-A-H-U-D. 
S O N, or shoot me a quick email at Delitra at Delitra Hudson. Dot com. Wonderful, wonderful. I'm excited. Money doesn't grow on trees. Get the book, people. It is a blessing, not only to your children, but be a blessing to you as well. Thank you, Mrs. Delitra Hudson, the June Christian Business Connection, author of the month, for being on our program today. Thank you for having me, and it is always a pleasure. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Good morning, everybody. My name is Van Swat. I'm the worship arts pastor at the Word at Shaw Church here in St. Louis, Missouri, where we serve the community in word and in deed. I'm so excited to be here this morning on the CBC radio show with evangelist Nona Thomas. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to you and your family to come worship with us at the Word at Shaw at 11 a.m. on Sunday morning. We're located at 4265 Shaw Boulevard, St. Louis, Missouri, 63110. Or you can visit our website at www.thewordatshaw.com. Org. God bless. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, we are talking this morning with none other than Miss Veronica Williams. She is the founder, the creator of Granny V's Bath and Body Products. I'm telling you, this new line of products is sweeping. It is the rave. So I'm so excited to have her on the program this morning. So I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show, Miss Veronica Williams. Good morning. Good morning. Now, you know, I'm going to ask you, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Yes, it is. And let's be glad in it and give him all the joy of our hearts and filled with so much praise. Amen. 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 I tell you, I'm bubbling. I'm bubbling. And I'm just so excited about Granny V's Bath and Body. Now, I'm going to tell my audience before I even get into it with you that I have experienced these products. And I'm telling you, the customized exclusive line of um, uh, body products is off the chain, y'all. It is the shea butters. The customized shea butters are off the chain. So now you can talk about your product. <laughs> <laughs> well, Granny V's, um, I came up with Granny V uh, Bath and Body because I experienced uh, different uh, products um that were on the market and with my skin as I, I will find after a time that I will break out or or it was in, in in different climates it would just feel heavy and, and and tacky like sticky and 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 I didn't want a product like that and not only that I wanted a product that was natural um that that was made of natural oils and uh, different botanicals and extracts and I wanted to I wanted to put on my body uh, a product that would be safe enough mm -hmm. even if I intake if I took it orally that it, it was so natural mm -hmm. and I couldn't find anything like that over the counter and so and so during the process you know the Lord had put on my heart well then you need to create that and so that's what I did uh, because I couldn't find what it was I was looking for I began to research and and create a product and it, and that's when Granny V uh, was birthed well I'm so glad that you you travailed <laughs> And push the baby Amen. out because uh, the customized shea butter are, is just wonderful. I know you have many other uh, products, but I mm -hmm. just am thrilled about my lavender uh, scented <laughs> shea butter and and see i'm one of those funny people in that i don't like stuff either that is sticky i don't want it oily you know mm -hmm. it's just a certain feel on your skin but mm -hmm. you made me put something else down and start using granny v's i'm excited about it <laughs> mm -hmm. well well our product is the natural holistic way to beauty and that's what i call it it's the natural way to beauty and and all the ingredients in the product are all natural. Um, there is no uh, paraffins in it. There is no uh, additives in it that, that are not natural. There is no um, waxes. Everything in the product is 100% natural from its source. Um, Granny V Bath and Body, uh, we have butters, oils, salts, scrubs, soaps, and the bombs, um, the bath body. 
moms, and in all our products, there's only natural ingredients in it. And we also um, have a, a men's line, a children's line, and a women's line, and also a line that um, I call the stress relief line. And the stress relief line is a line that just after a long day of work, it actually helps you to relax and release the day's uh, stress um, that that you have encountered over the day. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, that's good. I, I love anything that says stress release, okay? We know mm-hmm. that, that Jesus is the ultimate stress release. And yeah. I, I like in the natural that we have some products that ho- are holistic you've got a line that can help just kind of soothe you know the smells the aromas it just Mm kind of relaxes you is that what you mean that's exactly what I mean. That's exactly what I mean. It the smell of it when when you take a lavender smell and mix it with a green tea, the feel of it and and not only the feel of it but the smell of it is so relaxing. Mm-hmm. It's so it is so relaxing to you, and when you when you're actually in the bath and you're smelling that, and then when you come out, you can actually take the same uh, fragrance that you bathe in and and moisturize your body from the oils or the butters. So each of each of the fragrances has a butter, a oil, a salt, a scrub, a soap and a bath bomb. So if your fragrance is lavender, you can you can purchase all of those items in the lavender fragrance. I know about it. I, I, I love it. I absolutely love it. Now, I know that you will soon be having a, a, a fantastic uh, grand opening and all of your things will be on display. But there may be a couple folks right now who they're hearing us and they're like, look, I got to I got to try this stuff. You know, how can I get in contact with you? Would you do that and give us your contact information? Sure. You can visit the website at www.granny, G-R-A-N-N-Y-V, Bath and body.com or you can email me at veronica at granny v bath and body.com also you can call 314-323-1877 give us that number one more time 314-323-1877 and we're also at this time um looking for rep to come in as entrepreneurs that may want to also sell at uh, the Granny V uh, product. Yes, yes. So, you know, I think it's kind of a no-brainer to figure out how you came, uh, uh, how you, uh, how the Lord gave you the name for the business. But tell us anyway, would you? Yes. My name is Veronica. So the V comes from Veronica and I am a granny. <laughs> you know, someone told me, they said, don't call me the granny. Call me, you know, all these other names. And that's, you know, everybody has their own take on it but i love being the granny uh, my name yes. means grandmother and i'm the granny not the mm-hmm. uh, the mama i am the granny and i love it <laughs> yes 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 well i tell you we're just about out of time is there anything else you would love to say this morning about granny v's bath and body product you know i, I just want to say once you try it you will love it um just the benefits of it to your body, not only your body, your skin, and just to to your spirit and just the way it makes you feel. And I love Granny. One, one thing I love about Granny V's is it's not just for women. It's for men. So we have a, an exclusive men's line that the men would absolutely love, and, and it has their masculine feel to it, but it gives them all the benefits that the women get for their skin. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. Having tried the products, let me tell you, my, my audience, I would not steer you wrong on this one. You have got to get in contact with Miss Veronica Williams of Granny V's Bath and Body. Thank you for being on the program with me today. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. All right, friends, we're going to take a break. You know, I'll be right back. Are you comfortable with the lifestyle that you're living and providing for your family? If not, I can teach you simple steps to help you improve your financial position and increase your knowledge so that you can create the life and the legacy that you desire. I am Delitra Hudson, the financial educator. I am CBC's book author of the month, and I am a financial coach, author, 
and speaker who has a passion for assisting professionals and small business owners increase their financial knowledge and learn to create money and legacy. There was a time in my professional career when I was making a six-figure income and still not feeling comfortable with the life that I was living, nor my ability to provide for my family. But sometimes we just don't know what we don't know. So I made it my mission to learn how to improve my own financial skills and forward that information on to others. And in the process of my teaching, my passion for working with the youth evolved so so much that I wrote a children's book, which was the debut book of my Money Matters book series titled Money Doesn't Grow on Trees. This book illustrates the story of my two daughters who learn the important life skills that you must work to earn money to create the money that you desire. I want all you to understand that the world is open to them to learn and to have anything that they want, but it is important for you to develop good money habits and money management skills. My children's book is available on my website, at www.deletrahudson.com. That's D-E-L-E-T-R-A-H-U-D-S-O-N. And you can also get it at Amazon. But guess what? I have a special for the listeners, your families, your friends, anyone. For this Tuesday, June 14th, you can get a copy of my book, the electronic version, for 99 cents on Amazon. Wow, that's an awesome deal. I am so passionate about getting this book in people's hands that I am giving it away for 99 cents through Amazon. But that's this Tuesday, June 14th only, so don't miss that opportunity. And if you want more one-on-one coaching, I am starting a youth summer camp in the St. Louis area, June 20th through 24th. Visit the website 2016 Money Camps. Subscribe me now for more information. That's awesome information for you. I look forward to connecting. Again, this is Delitra Hudson, the financial educator. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you at the top of the program, I was so excited to have the man of God here in the studio with us. I'm telling you, there are some great things going on over on the south side of St. Louis. And right now here to talk about it is Pastor Keith Scarborough of The Word at Shaw. Good morning, Pastor Keith. Good morning, Nona. How are you today? I'm wonderful. And a beautiful day. And I'm glad to be uh, here here sharing the waves with you. Now, you you kind of take my question. I was going to ask yeah. you, is this the day that the Lord has made for well, you? I believe it is, isn't it? Yes. It is. Yes. Okay, good. I was double checking. <laughs> but yes, indeed, it is. What a beautiful day. And every good and perfect gift comes from above. So indeed. don't take it for granted. Yeah. We can't. Yeah. We can't. Uh, many didn't wake up this morning, so we give them the glory. <laughs> you know, Pastor, you all are doing some great things well, in the community. Uh, right there on Shaw and yeah. the south side of yeah. St. St. Louis. Tell us about the Word at Shaw. Well, the Word at Shaw was planted five years ago, and so we're 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 starting to feel like you know a real church that's kind of up and running. It took us about five years to kind of get there. Uh, we are a multicultural church. Uh, I know that you know my partner Vance Watt. Yes. Uh, most folks in St. Louis know him as Praise, a hip hop Christian artist and great dude. Uh, great, great to do ministry with, and so uh, we put this church together because we we believe that church should look like heaven and should look like our community. And uh, our community has so many divisions in it that when Jesus comes in, Jesus says, oh, no, no, no. Division is bad. Mm -hmm. That's from the other guy. Jesus Mm -hmm. brings about unity. And so we wanted to create a congregation that did that. And so our congregation is that. It's extremely diverse, both in race, but also uh, socioeconomic backgrounds, Mm -hmm. but also ages. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just a great place to kind of hang out, come as you are and uh, hang out and uh, worship God. Now, we believe worship is really a celebration of what God's doing, and God's doing miracles all around us all every time. day. All the time. And so it's not just about Sunday morning. It's about what el- what whatever. God is doing else through the week, what mm-hmm. else God is doing through the week, and then also coming together on celebrate S- Sunday to celebrate that. Yes, yes. And your Sunday celebration certainly is a Sunday celebration, isn't it? <laughs> it sure is. Yeah, <laughs> it really is. And then what's so cool about it, Pastor, is not only do you have just 
a beautiful sanctuary, just a beautiful edifice. I mean, it is really so, so wonderful. Then folks can transition either before or after church to the coffee house. My goodness. Yeah. We were given an, a United Methodist building and uh, with the agreement that we would refurbish it. Mm-hmm. And so for five years, we've been changing, knocking out walls and doing things. <laughs> and when you're doing multicultural, what you want to do is build places where people can sit and get to know each other yes. and just spend time with each other. And so the coffee house was the perfect solution for yes, that. Yes. And so it's just a great, we have we have a neighborhood coffee ground right there in our neighborhood mm-hmm. and it's free. Mm-hmm. So you can come, you can check your email before a service. Service. It's really laid back. I'm not a morning person. So, like, I need a nice kind of build up to service. And so it's real relaxed, real mellow, and you can come in and kind of hang out with your friends and then go worship God together. Yes. You know, uh, of course, I'm, I'm, I'm there, you know, <laughs> quite a bit. And when I walk into the sanctuary, I don't. It, it doesn't matter if the sanctuary is, if there are people in there or, you know, if I'm just showing it or something. It's such a spirit of peace, isn't it? Yeah. It's it's yeah. just, it's 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 serenity. Yeah. I mean, that's the only way I can say it. You have everything that's modern is in there, okay? Right. <laughs> so if you're looking for, you know, the techno stuff right. for a church, you got that. If you're looking for high praise and worship, you got right. that. If you're looking for the word, you got that. Yeah. It's all there at the Word of Shine. Yeah, where there's Christ, there is peace. Mm-hmm. And uh, even in mm-hmm. our community, that's what we're striving for. Mm-hmm. And so um, it is a lot of fun. I'm a very laid back pastor. I don't wear a tie. It, well, I've worn a tie a couple of times and the people all tease me about it. So I don't wear it anymore. <laughs> but uh, but Vance, you know, he's just Vance. And, yes. uh, and there's nothing like it. And so there's ups, there's downs. Uh, we have altar uh, prayer. Mm-hmm. And so it gets very... Uh, uh, very cool and reflective, but then also celebratory. Yes. And uh, so it's just a great place and you can feel the spirit. And, and uh, we say we want to meet people wherever they are. Mm-hmm. And I had one of those church experts come by and I said, now, look, this is kind of like on our website and kind of our mission statement. And this is what we're trying to do. And so I, I don't want to tell anybody who you are. Just come and sit and just see. Right. And he came back and said, Keith, you can write that check every day because your people <laughs> are cashing it for you. They're so welcoming. They love it. You mm-hmm. love new people they love mm-hmm. all folks and it's really working that way so yes. that's great isn't it it is yeah. wonderful and so it's not like a church where you would go in and feel judged i hope mm-hmm. it's more like a church where you just go and be yourself and you that's great home. yeah you feel yeah. at home well i want to let you know that if you are just tuning in this morning we're talking with pastor keith of the word at shaw now pastor where is the church located okay it's right across the street from the botanical garden mm-hmm. it's on the corner of tower grove and shaw mm-hmm. so you know you can see 44 right behind us. Mm-hmm. It's right there. It's very easy to get to. And it's got a great big mural on the side of it that says Shaw, because right. we're so proud of the Shaw neighborhood. Yes. Actually, the kids in our community came and painted that. It was a paint-by-number mural, and one of the local artists here in St. Louis helped the kids. And so kids from all over our community came and painted on our wow. church in a good way. In a good yeah, way. Yeah, in a good yeah. way. It doesn't always happen that way. But in ours, it was right. And it was a great big welcome mat mm-hmm. uh, to the Shaw neighborhood. So yes. that's I always say, hey, we're the church with the mural, they go, oh, that's you. Yeah, that's, that's you. us. That's right, right on the right. corner, Tower yes, Grove and for. Shaw. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> you know, Pastor, you're doing so many outreach uh, things in the community. Tell us about that. Yeah, we uh, we do a couple of things that um, that I'm very proud of. On, um, on Fridays, I am in the school that is right next door uh, to our church. It's the... Uh, um, uh, Malamphy uh, Elementary School. It's a mm-hmm. s- public school. Mm-hmm. And I go in and teach life skills. I've been there six years now. Every year that we've had the church, I've been there. And so that's me in the classroom. These are not um, uh, assemblies. I'm in the classroom. I'm in second, third, fourth, and fifth grade. Every classroom, four times a year. So they know me they over know there. You. And I'm teaching <laughs> life skills, uh, things like communication, <laughs> conflict resolution, values, and self-esteem. Things that will help them take what they're learning learning in school and be successful in life. Yes. And we've discovered that when students have a good handle on life skills, they're mm-hmm. less likely to be addicted to drugs, alcohol, mm-hmm. or use violence mm-hmm. to settle their problems. Yeah. And so I've been there for six years. That's our outreach to the public school. And uh, of course, I'm not alone. Lots of our volunteers come over and tutor and we just kind of take care of the teachers, mm-hmm. take care of the grounds, mm-hmm. do all that kind of stuff. Uh, we also have a furniture program. In fact, downstairs 
downstairs. We had three classrooms. You know, it's the old model of church that we got, which sure. was everybody was in a classroom. Now we don't do that anymore. <laughs> so I had beautiful space, and we turned those into showrooms. So they kind of look like Rothman furniture. Yes, and we work beautiful. with um, several of our shelters, uh, homeless shelters, and so women who are getting graduating, getting out of the shelter into their new apartment. We come along. They come down. They shop. They don't have to pay anything, but they shop. They get to pick out all of their kitchen stuff, all of their living room stuff, all their bedroom stuff. And then we have a moving van. We load it up. So my Saturday is spent loading and and doing furniture. You know, they didn't teach you that stuff in seminary. They should have. That's what they need to be teaching how to drive a moving van. Yeah, Yeah, I remember that pastor. What's the best part? It's the best part of my job. And so on Saturdays, I always have a team and we go out and we're delivering. In fact, this last week, we delivered um, to a lady and she was just getting her kids back. And evidently, it's a regulation if the, if they're going to give her her kids back. She had to have a bed for every kid. Yeah. So we showed up with five beds glory, with glory. all the dining room, all the living room stuff, and got to pray over her, pray over yeah. her house, pray over her kids. And now this house is going to become a home yes. uh, with kids, and that's going to be great. So that's that's our what we call Furnishing Hope. And then on Thursdays, we have a uh, after-school program, Word at Shaw After School. Uh, it's a great program. Mm-hmm. Kids are between 8 and 14. Mm -hmm. And uh, they come, we help them with their homework. We eat together. Mm -hmm. Um, It's my favorite meal of the week (laughs) um, because all the kids are sitting around and we get into the drama of their day and, you know, make sure they're doing okay. And then we have some, uh, usually a guest artist. So we've had um, like a guy come and teach drums, actually our mural artist that Mm -hmm. was part of that program. Uh, In July, we have Sandy Griffin, who is a local artist who's coming, going to spend four weeks with us. So she's going to showcase her art. Uh, in our coffee house, yeah, and then yeah. um, and then work with the kids and the kids by having her uh, several weeks in a row. Then you get to like work on a big project, and the kids get to work on it for several weeks. And we'll be displaying those in our sanctuary when it's done. And so that's a pretty cool thing. And then I don't know if you knew this, but Laura Lee, my wife, just got certified as a yoga instructor. Oh my! And so she's been working really hard to get that. And so August is her month, and the kids are going to be learning yoga. And so that's what we try to do: bring in different artists, different kind of things, just to experience experience some more stuff and that's well, what it's what's what our program is about. It sounds to me like there's a lot going on at the word at <laughs> shop. There's a lot going on. Well, I tell you Pastor, we're just about out of time, but can I get you to come back on and we talk about more of the things that are happening at the word at shop? Absolutely. I'm I'm at your disposal. Wonderful. Is there anything else that you'd like to say in closing, Pastor? Well, I just like to say to the city of St. Louis, hey, our best days are still ahead of us. And uh, wherever you're going to church today, I just want you to go and pray for our city. Pray that we we might be united as one. Yeah. Pray that I look forward to this because I believe Jesus is going to do this. That someday the world is going to look at us and say, "Isn't that that city that was so divided? What happened?" And and those of us who know Christ are going to be able to smile and say, "Well, Jesus happened here." And when Jesus gets a hold of things, when we stand under His banner, then there is unity, there's love, and there's equality at the foot of the Master. I love what you said. You said Jesus happened here. That's it. That's a sign. <laughs> hey, that's, you know, that's a bumper a sticker. T- that's a bumper sticker and a t-shirt sale. Can I, can I steal that? <laughs> you got it, baby. It's all yours. <laughs> Again, bless you, Pastor Keith, for being a part of the CBC radio show. The Word of Shaw, y'all. The Word of Shaw. You got to go by there. Thank you so much, Pastor. My pleasure. All right, friends. We're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Welcome to Dr. Tebow's Healthy Living Tips for Allergies in April, Migraines in May. The first healthy living tip we're going to discuss today is about coughing. Coughing is normal, but with weather changes, your coughing can become an unbearable problem. Coughing is a form of respiratory defense system for your body. So what can you do to help your cough during seasons of changes? Well, I have some tips for you today. Number one, drink plenty of water. Drinking water helps reduce the amount of mucus secretion your body is taking on. You must drink plenty of water Every two waking hours, put the redefined sugary drinks down and drink water. Number two, avoid dairy products. This definitely decreases your immune response and causes more coughing to continue. So take that milk, 
cheese, and other dairy products out of your consumption. Number three, bromelain. This is a natural anti-inflammatory that enhances the effectiveness of antibiotics. You should definitely incorporate this within your daily usage. And number four, chiropractic. Chiropractic works wonders in the area of your spinal column. With chiropractic draining techniques, going hand-in-hand with the adjustments, procedures, Use this a powerful tool in results. Adjustments improve your impact on life. It rocks. So remember, chiropractic does wonders and you should try it. The seasons are changing and so are you. So make sure your spine is properly aligned too. Don't forget you can text me or call me at 636-336-8049. Dr. Tebow is the one for you. Check me out. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you at the top of the program, we were going to be speaking this morning with Mr. Highland Stewart, the multi-level marketing executive right here in the metropolitan St. Louis area. I'm so excited to have him as a part of the program. So I want to get right to it. Good morning and welcome to the CBC Radio Show, Mr. Stewart. Good morning to my national evangelist, Sister Nona Thomas. How are you this morning? I am wonderful. I'm wonderful. Let, let me ask you, are you wonderful too? Because is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Truly, truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. And I am right now rejoicing in it. Amen. You got the right. You always have the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you, the Lord is doing some great things in your life and your business and your ministry, you and your beautiful bride, Sister Karen Stewart. Tell us about what's going on right now. I know those, there's some things that are hot on your mind, isn't it? Well, you know, to try and compress everything that's going on to the few minutes you're going to give me, the best way to tell it is that I'm involved in a business that you can be at home and do and have a global presence. And in that global presence, you can help people to change their lives for the better. And that's what just to sum it up in a few words. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, there's one word that I've heard you use before in describing your products and services, and that is residual when it comes to talking about the opportunity. That's a good word, isn't it? Residual is very powerful because we aren't uh, NFL players, we're not singers, nor are we movie actors. Those entities get residual incomes for the rest of their life. And this business here shows you how to do the exact same thing without having a college education. My, 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 my. I know you have been a businessman. I, I, I wouldn't even try to put a, a how many years. The Lord has just been so good to you. And you've seen and been a part, I'm sure, of many things. But what is going on in the multi-level marketing opportunity that you're in is amazing, isn't it? Uh, it's so amazing that uh, the company went through a telecom age where it's now it's in the wellness age. And we just entered into the financial market mm-hmm. where we're able to offer financial products. Every business person that's been in business over the past three years, they have the opportunity to get some funding without a whole lot of paperwork. Now, that's a revelation right there. <laughs> That's going to be a godsend for many business owners, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, yes. Now, I also am aware that uh, this opportunity allows you to travel. Uh, You're not uh, restricted to a certain area. Uh, Your products and services are available for basically everyone everywhere. Is that right? Uh, We are in the United States, and we're also global. In fact, the company was ranked 84th worldwide. In 45, number 45 in the United States. So we're moving. Yes, yes. I want to let my listeners know that if you're just tuning in this morning, we're talking with Mr. Highland Stewart, a multi-level marketing executive right here in the St. Louis area. Now, how can folks contact you? Because I know there's information that you'd be willing to sit down and consult with folks on on this opportunity and how it can make a difference in their life. How can they reach you? They can reach me by phone. My number is 314-302-5710. My email address, D-O-S, D-E-L-I-S-T-5-4 at gmail.com. And they can also inbox me on Facebook under the title Highland Stewart. H-Y-L-A-N-D-S-T-U-A-R-T. 
Wonderful. You know, as we're talking about the opportunity and how wonderful it is, I think it would be uh, great to mention that this is something that couples can do together. You know, the Lord has blessed that you're able to be a part of this opportunity with your wife, Karen. That's a blessing, isn't it? It's truly a blessing because there are no pressure points in doing this business. Uh, each person, that, as they come together, they have separate phone lists. And imagine helping the people that are in your phone. And these are just not mere acquaintances. These are people that you probably talk to on a regular basis. So imagine helping them to save money. Then turn around and showing them how to uh, produce residual income for the rest of their lives. Now, did you say residual income for the rest of your lives? Now, is, I just want to make sure I heard you say that right. Residual income for the rest of your life that if you should pass on is transferable to your family. That's how huge. Wow. Because, you know, now we're talking about legacy, aren't we? Yeah, we're talking about generational wealth. Mm-hmm. Talking about leaving the legacy, like the Bible says, to leave something. To leave something for your children. Yes, yes. Um because and we're going to have you back on the program during the month of June and you know I want uh Karen to talk about the 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 joy that it's been for her because I know it's been very fulfilling for her to be a part of this opportunity you think we can get Karen to come on the show with you as well I'm sure we can it's just a matter of arrangements you know arrangements are so important these days when we're both leading busy lives. Indeed, indeed. Now, I, I might even put her on the spot because not only is she a successful businesswoman, but she is definitely an anointed psalmist uh, who the Lord calls upon to use uh, throughout uh, the metropolitan area. And so uh, you think I could even put her on the spot and play some of her music? What you think? I'm sure we can. I'm sure we can. <laughs> Got to work it out. Well, I yes, want to thank you again. Is there anything else that you'd like to say in closing about this wonderful opportunity? No, just that uh, you should call me or inbox me to get further information because once you see this, it will be something like you've never seen before, you've never heard of before because it's just that different and it's just that simple to do from home. Yes, because I know there are people who are looking for something they can do at home, something that's going to work with their schedule. So thank you so much, Mr. Highland Stewart, multi-level marketing executive right here in the St. Louis area. Thank you for being here, my friend. Thank you for your time, Sister Nona. Have a blessed and awesome day. Indeed. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Hi, this is Evangelist Nona Thomas inviting you to tune in to Hallelujah 1600 at 4 p.m. every Wednesday for the midweek message. Friends, let me tell you, this program will encourage you. It will inspire you. It will be the boost that will be right on time in the Word of God for your Wednesday afternoon. So tune in every Wednesday, 4 p.m. right here on Hallelujah 1600 for the midweek message with Evangelist Nona Thomas. To God be the glory. Hey, St. Louis, it's Pastor Keith Scarborough from The Word at Shaw, located on the corner of Tower Grove and Shaw, right across the street from the Botanical Garden, wanting to invite you to our multicultural service. Starts at 11 a.m. on Sunday morning, but come early. Coffee House opens at 1030. Come get a cup of coffee, check your email, and get ready for service at 11 a.m. For more information, just visit our website, thewordatshaw.org, and we'll see you there. Hi, I'm Kim, owner of Kim's Herbs and Detox Center, and we're located in the Olivet area. Our mission is is to offer people natural herbal alternatives for many common health conditions such as chronic arthritis, hormonal imbalances, digestion issues, and more. We also offer other products to help you maintain your healthy temple, for example, detox kits and vitamin supplements. Come see us at 9634 Olive Boulevard or call us at 314-395-3767. Kim's Herbs and Detox Center, helping you take care of your temple of health. Hi, I'm Angelia Bills, Vice President of Communications for the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, and I'm glad to be here with Evangelist Nona Thomas on the Christian Business Connection radio show. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas, and I'm so excited about our next interview because we are talking about something that is hitting the St. Louis metropolitan area by storm. I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show, Mrs. April Fuller Kelly of Beauty Tainers and an independent distributor of Tyra Banks Cosmetics. Good morning. Good morning. Now, you know I'm going to ask you the question, don't you? Yes. (laughs) Is this the day? 
that the Lord has made for you. Yes, and I'm going to rejoice and be in it. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And I can hear it in your voice. Indeed. <laughs> well, I tell you, this thing has taken over in the St. Louis area. I'm so excited about Tyra Banks Cosmetics Beauty Tainers. Tell us about it. Yes, um, Tyra Banks just came out with a new cosmetic line and it's already um, going by storm. storm. She's been on W. GN and it's just her products are just awesome. Um, she has awesome names for all of our products like Smack My Fat Lash Mascara, <laughs> and it's just <laughs> just awesome. And I love all the products um, that she has so far. I've been just wearing uh, one of the products every like I, I live by, and that's her cheek <laughs> a blush in a stick. And all of her products actually comes in a stick, and she the cheek in a stick is awesome. It's just blush and it's in a stick and you just apply it on your face. And all of her makeup, she has um, the Tyra Banks tie over. So you can put, apply her makeup within five minutes. And if you're like a business woman and you're on the go, like I am, um, you want to get that makeup on as fast as possible. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> so that's why I got into her cosmetic line. Well, what I am excited about the product is this. Her name, I mean, she's a brand and she is a supermodel so one would think she might know something about cosmetics, wouldn't you think? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know that um, in talking to you about um, this new line that she has launched, um, it's it's really just taking over. I mean, there's so many great things about it, but I know there's a website and that folks can go to and they can give you a call to get that information, can't they? Yes, they sure can. Give us your phone and number I that they can reach you at. Uh, my telephone number is 217-741-1890. Give it to us one more time. Yes, it's 217-741-1890. Yes. Now, I also love beauty tainers. That's good. It's kind of like entertainers, but beauty tainers, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> it is. And, you know, we're so blessed because we're going to have you talking about this product over the next several months. And, you know, and I, I'm, I'm telling my listeners, one of the reasons is because you're going to be a part of the upcoming uh, Christian Business Connection and Nona Thomas Worldwide Ministries retreat that we're going to have and be announcing. And you're going to be a part of that and pampering the ladies and all that good stuff. And we're going to tell them about that over the next coming weeks, aren't we? Yes, we are. And it's so exciting. I can't wait. <laughs> yes, yes. Now, if someone wants to get in contact with you right now, now, can you meet with them and, you know, kind of consult with them and, and tell them what looks best and what would help them in their um, in their makeup. Yes, I sure do. The only thing that she does not have yet is a foundation, but if you want, like, eyeliner, uh, eyelashes, um, a good mascara, um, couture on your face to give you a polished look. I mean, she has so many different products um, that you can put over your foundation that it just give you that glow. Because I, when I apply my makeup, I like to glow. <laughs> I, I'm with you. I, I put a pin in it right there. The glow. I, I want to glow for Jesus. I want to glow. That's right. <laughs> and and there's so many uh, different uh, uh, techniques for applying uh, cosmetics and things. And you can help. You can help us with that too, can't you? I sure can. Wonderful. Well, give us your phone number one more time. We're about out of time. But uh, look, folks are going to hear all about uh, Tyra Banks Cosmetics and Beauty Tainers throughout this summer. What number one more time can you be reached at? Yes, and I also will give my email address as well, but my telephone number is 217-741-1890, and I'm going to repeat it again. It is 217-741-1890, and the website is www.tyra.com, which is T-Y-R-A.com slash April Fuller. 87. Wonderful, wonderful. I, I tell you, I'm excited. We're going to have a full summer of fun. We're talking girl talk. We love stuff like this. So I'm excited that you are a part of the CBC radio show. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mrs. April Fuller Kelly of Tyra Banks Cosmetics and Beauty Tainers. Thank you. Thank you. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back.
Hi, this is Evangelist Nona Thomas inviting you to tune in to Hallelujah 1600 at 4 p.m. every Wednesday for the midweek message. Friends, let me tell you, this program will encourage you. It will inspire you. It will be the boost that will be right on time in the Word of God for your Wednesday afternoon. So tune in every Wednesday, 4 p.m. right here on Hallelujah 1600 for the midweek message with Evangelist Nona Thomas. To God be the glory. Good morning, everybody. My name is Vance Watt. I'm the worship arts pastor at the Word at Shaw Church here in St. Louis, Missouri, where we serve the community in word and in deed. I'm so excited to be here this morning on the CBC radio show with evangelist Nona Thomas. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to you and your family to come worship with us at the Word at Shaw at 11 a.m. on Sunday morning. We're located at 4265 Shaw Boulevard, St. Louis, Missouri, 63110. Or you can visit our website at www.thewordatshaw.com. God bless. Hi, I'm Kim, owner of Kim's Herbs and Detox Center, and we're located in the Olivet area. Our mission is to offer people natural herbal alternatives for many common health conditions, such as chronic arthritis, hormonal imbalances, digestion issues, and more. We also offer other products to help you maintain your healthy temple, for example, detox kits and vitamin supplements. Come see us at 9634 Olive Boulevard or call us at 314-395-3767. Kim's Herbs and Detox Center, helping you take care of your temple of health. Friends, haven't we had a wonderful program every single week? I just give God the glory. I thank him so much for what he does with the Christian Business Connection. But I want to tell you, couldn't do this without you. Thank you for listening to the program. Thank you for being such just dedicated to listening to the program, to supporting the Christian Business Connection. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I also want to say thank you to my guests. You know, we have had a wonderful time talking with Mrs. Delitra Hudson who is the CBC June Author of the Month. Her book, her wonderful children's book, Money Doesn't Grow on Trees. If you have not gotten your copy of that book, oh, you gotta go. You gotta go and get your copy. It's gonna be a blessing to you. Also, I wanna thank Miss Veronica Williams of Granny V's Bath and Body. I love her products. I love her products. The customization that she can do with the different fragrances. Friends, you got to get in contact with Granny V. You surely do. I also want to thank Pastor Keith Scarborough. Pastor Keith, you are a blessing. Love, love what you are doing in the city of St. Louis. Thank God for the outreach that you have and for the compassion that your church ministry has for the St. Louis area. Great work. Job well done, sir. And also, I want to thank this morning, Mr. Highland Stewart. He's a blessing him and his beautiful wife got to give a shout out to mrs karen stewart the songbird that she is this anointed psalmist sings everywhere she is great she's great and we thank god for both of them and what they are doing in the body of christ i also want to thank this morning mrs april fuller kelly thank you so much for what you are doing oh god bless you for being a part of the cbc radio show and dr katrina thompson boundary you know we love you you are our pocket doctor right there in our hip pocket okay thank you for what you're doing your chiropractic work that you're doing throughout the St. Louis area as well you know friends I want you to mark your calendar please please mark your calendar for July 15th that's right Friday July 15th I am launching a new ministry Nona Thomas Worldwide Ministries and so I want you please to be a part of what God is going to do on that launch service it's going to be at 6 30 friday july 15th and it's going to be at the word at shaw that's right the word at shaw i'm so excited about it and you're going to hear more information as we get closer to it but just go ahead and pencil that date in right now friday july 15th want you to come with me as we give god the glory as we give him praise as we celebrate the launching of this new ministry also i want my ladies all ladies who are listening to this broadcast 
podcast, you are invited to a women's retreat that I am hosting on October 14th through the 16th of this year. It's going to be at the Sojourn Christian Retreat. It's in Dittmer, Missouri. We are going to have a fantastic time. Give me a call at 314-270-2225 to get more information. This is going to be presented by Nona Thomas Worldwide Ministries. So we're going to have a great time. I want to tell you that the Lord is going to be in the midst of everything that we're doing. It will be surely time for a women's retreat. So give me a call, 314-270-2225. To all of my guests, again, thank you. I encourage you to go to my website because you'll see information about my guests today. It's always a joy and furthermore, a privilege to be with you every single Sunday. It's a privilege and honor. I give God the glory. I thank him. You know how I close every single show. You should probably say it with me on the count of three. One, two, three. To God be the glory. Christian Business Connection. Connecting your business or ministry to the world.